Come on, Kendra. What's taking you so long? Calm down, sis. We have an entire day to spend with each other. I know, but there's so much we need to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, Spill. Uh, you know me too well, Kate. It's about Jackson, isn't it? Didn't you have a crush on him while he and Kaden were still in college? Yeah. Don't get me wrong, okay? He's a nice guy. It's just that he's going to be my first and last relationship. And I'm worried that, you know, I might not be enough for him or I might probably mess the marriage up. And I don't want that to happen. <laughs> Cute as always. Listen, you were born with the genes of the most romantic woman in the world. You have the kindest heart in the world and everyone knows it. You'll be fine, Kendra. Don't stress yourself out too much. Besides, Jackson is a nice guy and I'm sure he'll do everything to protect his best friend's not so little sister. You're in good hands, Kendra. Right again. Thanks, sis. All right, we're here. <laughs> Travis? What are you doing? Kendra, here? we need to talk. Kate, please get in the car. Kendra, no. Please just get back in and call Kaden. All right. I have my eye on you, Travis. Hurt her and I swear I'll get you for it. What do you want to talk about? I know that you already saw the photos. I'm so sorry. I should have told you about the engagement. It's fine. Just leave. I don't need another toxic person in my life. Kendra, come on now. <laughs> you know how I hate being kept in the dark, Travis. And I'm not just talking about Zarina. W what do you mean? <sighs> don't act stupid, Travis. I know you're working for the Falcon. Smart, as expected of you. How did you know? <laughs> it was easy, really. You popped up here in Seattle out of nowhere. You wanted to spend time with both of my siblings. You've been following me everywhere. <laughs> you know what? I forgot to tell you something really important. What's that? The reason why I became a spy and the reason why I've been doing my best to abolish the Falcon is because they killed my parents. And after all the information that I've gathered and the way you carefully executed your plan, I knew you were up to something. And I was right. Again. Kendra, I, I didn't know. <laughs> Liar. You were there when it all happened. You were there when my world fell apart, Travis. You were the only person I trusted besides my siblings, and I can't believe that after all those years you chose to betray me. Is this all part of your plan? To make me believe that we actually had a chance? Did you really need to mess up my life like this? But was I never enough? Have I not given you enough? You know, I bet when you said you love me, that was another lie. Kendra, no. You've, you've given me so much more than I deserve. Believe me when I say I love you. I really do. It's just that you are and always have been my best friend and my safe space. And I didn't want all those years to crumble apart once we became more than that. I don't want to hurt you. But you did. Kendra, you have to trust me. Trust you? Travis, you've been keeping secrets to me and you've been lying to me. I don't even have any idea what's the truth anymore. Uh, Kendra, I did it to protect you. I'm supposed to kill you. You know I won't do that, so I looked for a different way to save us both, and- Then maybe you should have done that instead. Kendra. You've been the enemy all along, and I fell for the trap. Please. A nice deal, I guess. Got the job, the money, and after all that, you get the recognition you have always wanted. Kendra, please, let me fix my mistakes. Enough. Travis, I've had enough. Tell me. Tell you what? 
Tell me we can never be together that way. I, Kendra, I, I can't. You know I can't you do can. that. You can. It's the only way I can survive this, Travis. Please. I love you, Kendra. You're the best friend I never knew I needed. Yet I, I know that I need to protect you so I can see you smile again. I am so sorry for all the pain I caused you. But please, believe me. I cherish you, Kendra. I always will. But a sacrifice must be made, and so... We can never be together that way. Leave. Please. And don't come back. <sighs> Goodbye, Kendra. Take care of her for me, will you? I'm sorry you had to see this mess. Mind tell me how you knew about all of this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you cheeky bastard. Who knew that you actually work for me? <laughs> I am too exhausted and it's only 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh. <laughs> hmm? Where are we going? home with you <laughs> all right then pretty boy take us home